What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to build your own probe for your Xbox 360 light-on drives. Uh, first to start off, here's what all you need. You're going to need a D-sub connector, female, okay, it's nine positions. You can get it from Radio Shack. You're also going to need a 10K ohm resistor and a 1K ohm resistor. You can get those from Radio Shack. Next you're going to need a it's just a regular NPN transistor so you can get that from Radio Shack too it shows you how it works on the back alright from there you're just going to need a bunch of wire and a USB cable now you're basically just going to snip the USB cable off and bear the red and black wire the red is the 5 volt the black is the ground now if you held the red while it's plugged in, nothing would happen. If you held the black and the red together, you're going to get shocked. Okay, it's not nothing bad, you're going to feel it like a 5 volt. That's it. If you ever had a 9 volt battery on your tongue, that's going to be what it feels like. It's not bad. But still, you can cause a short in your computer and stuff like that. I've connected LEDs and stuff. It's powerful enough to blow the LEDs, so just be careful. You don't want to short anything. Make sure you ground everything, okay? Alright. To start off, you're going to bend everything like this. The base is going to bend back and the flat side is going to be where it's bent to. So from there you're just going to, let me scoop the camera up here so you guys can see better. Alright. From here you're just going to solder everything. Now I've already got solder all already, already on like all the pieces just to save time on the video. So pretty much you're going to find your probe wire which is over here the probe wire is the one with the 10k ohm resistor and this is what your probe wire is going to be so you'll want it to be like this and the uh... It, it's just pretty much going to stick on there with solder and from there it, be careful when you hold it though it does get hot here I'm just gonna set it down it's a lot easier and that's that I think I can do a little bit better job than that though so give me a second there we go okay now that's your probe wire that just goes on the base the next one's the collector that's where the 1k ohm resistor goes okay and I've already got it attached to a wire also to save time along with solder on it so if you look at your picture which I don't really have to I already know the collector is right here but if you look at the picture you would know it's right there okay so once you're there just solder it together you can set it down and make it easier if you hold it, remember it's going to get hot pretty quick, so you'll want to do it as fast as you can. And just tap it. Er. There we go. Oh. Gotcha. Alright, and that's that. Really, I did that wrong. <laughs> it's upside down. If you want to go ahead and attach it, it's going to be this way. Darn it. You're going to want to attach it right here, and I'm going to have to hold it because it's going to go backwards every time. Uh, here, we'll just do it this way. Okay. There we go. Okay. If you wanted to, you could attach the uh, transistor first, but I like to have everything done and over with by the time I get to that part. So, pretty much. The collector goes to the second pin and the emitter goes to the fifth pin. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay. You can. Alright. So pretty much just solder it on there as it is. And I seem to be having some trouble because it's upside down. So you can bend it back. <laughs> Easy way. Some things may fall off. Alright, there we go. That's everything. Now, 
once you have everything connected, again, if you wanted to, you could attach the uh, transistor first and then just attach everything else, but it's probably going to be easier if you do do that. I just like to have everything done first. Okay, so coming from the uh, base, you're going to have your probe. Now, for me, I just left the wire there, but you can attach a needle, anything, a barber pin, whatever you want to, whatever makes you happy. I find this easier because it goes straight in the hole. So, <laughs> um, next up is you're going to have your uh, 5 volt source here, and that's coming from the one, yeah, the 1K ohm resistor. And you're going to take your USB cable that you've bared, and you're just going to attach it to the red wire. The red wire is your 5 volt source. So, that's pretty straightforward. Just simply tap it on there, and you're good to go. Next up is your ground wire. Now again, you'll want a ground wire. Some people are saying you don't have to have one, but again, just to be safe and so you don't short circuit anything or blow anything like your computer, your 360 drive, or whatever, make a ground wire just to be safe, okay? Now, i got to find my ground wire because I can't recall what I did with it. Here it is. Uh, now, it would help if you made different color wires. Just saying. So, from here, your ground is going to go right here, the fifth pin. The fifth pin is your ground wire. So, it's going to go attached to the NPN and everything. So, just solder it on there, and you should be good to go. Of course, if it flips upside down, that doesn't help, does it? That's the thing I hate about wires. It makes everything go upside down. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, and then from there, you're just going to solder it to the black wire. Mm. Doesn't want me to be easy. It helps again to have a friend. But no one's home right now. There we go. And you're done. That's everything. Now, uh, so you don't short circuit anything else. I've got my hot glue gun ready, and I'll just show you pretty much what all you're going to do. Let me unplug this soldering iron and set it to the side. Alright. My hot glue gun's already ready. I got the dinky one from Walmart. It's like four bucks. All you're going to do is just super glue everything. <laughs> Go nuts. Have some fun. That's what I did. I love hot glue. It's fun to play around with. So yeah. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure nothing's open. You want to cover up everything that's bare. Now don't cover up the whole serial port. You don't want to do that. You want, you want this side to be completely open because you're going to have to plug it into your serial port. But the other side can be completely bare. Make sure before you do this that none of the wires are touching. Otherwise, again, that defeats the whole purpose of preventing the short circuiting. Because it's just going to do it anyway. Okay, it's starting to bend on me. Make sure you take a break every now and then so it doesn't bend. But I'm just giving you the basics. so uh, I don't care if it bends. I've already got one. And I don't know if I already said this, but I will put everything you need in the description. As I said, you can get pretty much everything from Radio Shack. I did. Most of the rest of the stuff is just laying around the house. Okay, and that's that. Now, if you're going to put a probe, or any whatever you want to call it, needle. Hold on, it's starting to go my way. You're going to want to make sure that, uh, just that you have a little grip on it. So whenever you put your needle on there, make sure you hot glue it too. And just kind of, that way you have something to grip and it doesn't slip and go in the wrong hole. <laughs> okay. Ooh, stay. Alright. And then next up, you're just going to do your USB wires. And again, make sure they don't touch because then it would defeat the purpose. 
if I went short anything out, it'd just be pretty much red, I mean, yeah, red, black, and they would just complete the circuit and you wouldn't have any power. Huh. No, oh, it's going away. You pretty much get the idea of those guys. Make sure everything's soldered correctly, though, otherwise it'll end up like this. <laughs> and there. I don't know why I just blew on it. I don't think that helped any. Alright. That pretty much covers it. From there... I think I just, yes I did. I just hot glued my hot glue gun to the table. Nice. Okay, from there it's really easy. I've hot glued everything to the table. Ah! Okay, hot glue is up. Alright, from there, my fingers are now hot glued. Ugh. Should have let it dry a little bit longer, but I don't have a lot of time in this video, so. Alright, from there. Just simply plug it into your serial port in the back of your computer. If you don't have one, buy one. And then plug the USB cable in. That's going to power everything else you need. And then your probe will just go in the TX hole. If you're looking at it, there should be like four or five holes. And you just plug it in the third one. So you go like one, two, three. It's the third from the left. But just look at it. It's like the R... 707 hole. I guess that's what you would call it. Anyway, uh, there's tutorials all around if you need them, so feel free to look at those on how to get your key, but that's how you make that. And whenever I get my actual probe, because I don't have a serial port, I'll make a tutorial on how to flash light-ons. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll check out my next one. Peace out, guys.